see armor how it happened. I damaged my carbon fiber, so Vic doesn't know. What is this needed now? <laughs> I don't know, someone drove my car. Yeah, I already saw that. First of all, you can't work on your own car at the shop. Isn't like RDB vehicle? This guy is all about his M carbon fiber and he destroyed his M carbon fiber now. How much is that piece worth? 1400, 1500. It's almost the least payment. So why does it look like it's like... I did it because you ripped the ones. So you damaged the ones yeah. already? Yeah. And then you double taped it on? Yeah. How did you know? I can see the double <laughs> tape coming up. It's loose. Yeah. Look. It's like cappy. It was like a third day when I bought the car. So we have four Lambos. Soon there's going to be a video. Ferrari versus Lambos. No. Why not? We don't have time to do that. This is not a movie channel. It's, it's a shop. <laughs> We're going to... Divide two people, the people who's watching this. Oh, so they're gonna, people... you're gonna do like a poll. You want to see yeah. who likes Ferrari more or Lambo yes. more? You can just do that now. We don't have to wait. They can just do that now. <laughs> yeah, but let's uh, just fix it below up. below <laughs> if you're Team Ferrari or Team Lambo. This is this one has a wide body. Look at these details. This is the body shop. They we done this, so we fixed this car. Body shop, not the wrap, not them. We do body shop. We do any car. It doesn't matter if it's a Volkswagen, if it's a Toyota Camry or Ferrari. Or the Colony project that you're gonna. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is the body shop. I was the one who's the manager. You weren't even here when we did this car. No, I was here. <laughs> you weren't even here. No, I was here. You were not here. Yes, I was here. You were not here. This is looks like welding because molded, molded, molded. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. Look at how perfect it is. Break the mirror while you're at it. <laughs> so the bumper, hood. Yeah. And look at the Vix car. You're comparing Ferrari versus Lambo. Yes, Ferrari. But now it turned into quality well, of the you, Of course. Tell me which one you guys like it. The mold one, molded one. Oh my God, like you changed the whole pole. Which one you guys like? This Lambo or that Ferrari? Yeah. Now this mm -hmm. car is close to 400,000. Mm, I don't think so. It's a 458, it's not a 480, it's not an F8. I know, but the other day I was trying to look for a Ferrari. I was trying to look for Why a, are you four, to look for a Ferrari? 458 used. So <laughs> this one like with a wide body, I think it's like a, like with wheels and everything is like close to Hundred thousand? Yeah, 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 sure. With tune okay, and fine, everything. Fine. And same thing. Same price. <sighs> okay, they're around the same price, put it that way. Yes. Fine. Let me show wow. you a picture, guys. So there's a um Oh my god, what guys? It's a guy that didn't want to be on YouTube now. Hey guys, uh, <laughs> let me show okay. you this. But yes. Tell me. <laughs> Look, this is the laziest person. The only thing he does, drinks water and just walk around. Before this camera was See? on, How bad is he said, I don't care about anything. I don't care what anybody says. I'll litter everywhere. It's mm -hmm. wrong. It goes to the sea and mm -hmm. he doesn't, he said, I don't care about the sea. I don't care about animals. I don't care about anything. Yeah. Who's the bad guy here? The person that this walks This is the person around, who or? says he doesn't care about animals. He eats pork, chicken. It's, he, it's 5.30. He's buffing his car. We close up six. Better than sleeping yesterday at 5.30. <laughs> I work so hard. I get tired. Yes. <laughs> yes. I <laughs> might walk around, but he sleeps around. <laughs> if Moses was here, he would definitely be here before you. Right? Come on. Okay. The other day, Moses was late. So I went to pick him up and he threw a copy. The worst player ever, bro. Yeah, it was like you threw uh, coffee from oh, the window. You picked him up in the morning and yeah. he had coffee in his hand. And once again, Moses litters too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> just letting you guys know. <laughs> Sorry, Moses. I know you're going to watch this. So uh, he was throwing coffee from the window and just. Hey. Another white years. Wide body 1016. We have another wide body ears over there. White again 1016, but that one's gonna be wrapped. This is gonna be white all the way from in Atlanta so we could do the wide body project on this because we do it the best. So there's three white Euruses here, including mine. There's a gray Eurus over there. Yeah, a lot of Euruses and it's still going. We still have more three Ferraris right here. We're gonna go talk about this crazy Audi R8 project. I'm a little stressed over it. We'll go see why. The ring. <laughs> I see it like, like that. I see it. 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 If Big say something, I'm gonna tell him you tell me. <laughs> I, know, I don't know if they change. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him. You say, take the wrap off. Ah. Big! Hey, big! You see? It's around, around, look, look. 
Hey, Big. Hurry up, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Prior design, wide body, Audi R8. This thing is manual transmission, I think. I was wrong, it's not manual transmission. But it has a VF supercharger on it. So it is supercharged, and now it's getting a wide body kit. This has been in the works for a few months. We had to order the kit, took forever to get it, unfortunately, but we got it in and we're gonna start the project. It's very overwhelming. There's a ton of parts. As you can see, Luis put the hood on real fast, but you see the front bumper on the floor right there. You see these panels, this goes actually underneath the hood. On these cars, the hood and the fender is the same thing. So this goes under that. This is actually the little fender piece that's gonna go right here. As you can see, this is the rocker panel that goes on the side. This is the lower corner panel trim right here. This is the side, the big sill right there. This is the corner panel. Oh man, as you can see, the corner panel, which I just touched it and I already felt stuff. So not to talk badly about prior design or not, but their kits are priced for a reason where they're priced at. They need a lot of work when they come in. These kits are uh, inexpensive somewhat for a reason because the material they're made out of are not carbon fiber. They're not amazing. They have a lot of pit holes. They have a lot of uh, edging that we have to recreate and they don't fit amazingly well. So chances are the labor, well not chances are for sure, the labor installation is gonna cost more than the kits, but it's gonna end up looking amazing. That's the point, that's why it's here. We're gonna fully paint the car white. This car is actually wrapped black and red chrome. We're gonna take all that out and it's actually white. So we're gonna return it all back to white the right way. There's the rear bumper right there. It's a very aggressive kit, it's gonna look amazing. Luis has the, I don't know what that is, the wing? That's not gonna be the wing. We have an APR racing wing, so it's like a bigger wing. That's gonna go on it as well. We're gonna also do RDB wheels on it, so we're gonna get rid of these wheels. We're gonna do it right. We're gonna make it look really, really pretty when it's done, so. A lot of work for Luis and I. We took it out of two crates right now. It's a lot of parts. We're gonna take all the body parts out to put these on there and then a lot of body work to get it going. So a lot of wide body projects going on. Uh, you guys already know we do that. Actually the 458 blue wide body car is here. That's actually a prior design kit as well. And we had to do a lot of work to make that work too. And final resorts are amazing. So again, we'll get it done right. But uh, there is an orange Corvette that we're gonna talk about that a lot of people have been asking about. That's also a wide body project. I don't know who does as many wide bodies as us on varied cars. So let's go check it out. So this Sebring Orange wide body CA project right here, another headache job. The body kit, terrible, sorry to say. Uh, very difficult, we had to redo it three times. The material was reacting, it was cracking, it was bubbling, wouldn't fit very well, so we had to redo a lot of stuff. Super unhappy with that. But yeah, this is the rear bumper. We're waiting to put the IP exhaust on. The IP exhaust is gonna go on next so we can put the rear bumper on, but the front's on and it's massive. Luis, wanna bring it down a little bit? No, no problem. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a little tweet teaser on it and show you how crazy wide the front end is. The back section, like the quarter panel, looks stock, but just exaggerated, which I actually like. But the front, man, it looks like a GTR car. So really excited with that. The fender fins and all that looks ridiculous. So this project's nearing its completion. Right now in the industry, in every field, I think there's a lot of back order. The springs, the suspension on this car has been on back order for three months. So we're still waiting for that. Check out this front end. It looks like a GTR car, like I said, it looks insane. So super excited, especially the color. We love that it's the factory Sebring orange. It's gonna look amazing. It's a roadster as well. So the convertible and the interior is tan. So it's getting a crazy pair of wheels on it too. So stay tuned for this project. Is that not RDB? I don't know what this. What did show this? Showing? Just a little bit. Oh, These are the crazy RDB signature wheels. Insanely deep because it is wide body and they're a crazy, crazy color. Obviously subjective. People are going to talk about the color and all that stuff, but uh, you know, we'll see when it's done. That's really, really nice.